Hi there guys and welcome back. So this is going to be the next episode in my Road to Insane Final Ross. Clearly this one is going to be all about Araxor. Now I never really liked Araxor and I still pretty much don't. I'm not a massive fan of doing solo bosses so that's probably why. And even duo can get quite boring at times. On the upsides, it is pretty much the best money in the game. Especially if you're duoing path 1 or 2 and you can get a really good number of kills per hour. It's close to 15 mil an hour without even having any legs or hilts. But please don't hold me to that number, that's just a rough estimate. A few other things about Araxor is firstly, it's pretty demoralizing if you fail kills. Like if you lag or DC or something like that uh, and you lose a kill, it's really hard to sort of pick yourself back up and, and get back into the groove. Whereas if you do a couple of kills, it's going well. It's much, much more enjoyable and a lot easier to continue through a, an hour or two hour session. Also, one thing to take into account is the fact that I did quite a lot of my kills in a duo uh, because they're faster and therefore I'm and I'm still fairly convinced that in a duo you have a significantly reduced drop rate of legs and I don't know about hilts but even still so when you're looking at my either leg luck or my hilts just bear in mind that there's probably two thirds of my kills are duo. So to start off with then I got my base pet back in November at around 285kc. This was pretty lucky and I was really surprised about this considering at this point I wasn't really that fussed about pets and you can tell from my reaction that I didn't really expect it. I do know a fair few people that took them over a thousand kills before they managed to get their base pet and considering it's one of the only pets in the game that doesn't have a threshold, it can be quite annoying to try and get hold of. Anyway, pretty much how it happened was that I was helping some people get bombies and do a few hard mode kills in the Mother Duckers team and then we finished after three kills so I still had about half an hour, 40 minutes left on Runic. So I basically just went to Araxor to do three or four kills before I went to bed. And you can pretty much see this that I geared kind of quickly and rushed it because I still have my void gloves on uh, whilst in tectonic. After getting the base pet, of course, I then went and unlocked the other sort of five pets that you can get, including the mirror back spider feet, which I actually quite enjoyed doing. And I thought it was a nice little uh, thing that Jagex put in there. After this, then it was about 150 kills later that I got my first Araxite egg, so the Barry pet. It hadn't really occurred to me that around like 425 kills that I would be getting an egg be just because the threshold is like one in every 200 kills and it's like a one in a thousand drop rate or something. So yeah, I just didn't think it would happen. Between getting my base pet and uh, Barry, I made only one full leg and had two hilt drops, so one web and one fang. So that pretty much put me up to a total of two legs and three hilts in 425 kills, which really isn't very good, to be honest with you. And so finally moving on to Mallory. This is pretty much the one that was probably the most painful. I didn't do much Araxor for about two or maybe three months after getting Barry, and I did lots of hard mode and then started my insane final boss hunt for the other pets. However, I came back to it about a month ago and started grinding pretty hard so I went from around 520 kc ish to where I'm at now which is almost 850. The main aim of coming back to it obviously was to try and get Mallory however due to the release of God Wars 2 and leg prices shooting up because of the use of scythe and how good it is at God Wars 2 it did also make the money more attractive so again that was a good incentive to go back and do it now as opposed to later. On a side note from this I didn't actually really manage to capitalize fully on this spike of leg prices and I still haven't had any fangs since that spike of uh, price as such in them in the profit from a fang but it definitely has helped with the loot tab and boosted up a little bit. In respect of legs and stuff I pretty much did around 270 out of the 400 or so kills in a duo top path and actually had no luck of getting any single leg pieces before I got my Mallory. I ended up getting Mallory solo, uh, doing a path two, I think it was. And at this point, I had about three bottoms and two middle legs, and it was path two and three still. Uh, so when one and two opened, I was going to go back and do it. However, finally, two days ago, I did manage to pull two top legs after being three months dry, as equivalently. So it's like 450 kills or something uh, from getting a like the last time I got a top leg. Uh, so I got two in an hour, which uh, meant I could sell two legs. So in total loot from Araxor, I'm currently on at 863 kills and I've made four full legs with only needing one more top piece to make five and then I've had seven hilt drops as well. In terms of total loot from all those kills, I have no idea. With probably the most recent about 200 to 250 kills having their loot going into the tap. With regards to the loot tab, you should be able to see on screen my current progress and situation with the value and how much it's uh, got up to so far. That's it for this one guys, I hope you enjoyed, I realise I rambled on as always, like and subscribe for more videos and I hope to see you guys in the next one.